Hey there guys, welcome back to yet another episode from the VoIP Guide. Uh, last time around we started taking a look at uh, Asterix Logging or logger.conf. Um, and uh, this time around we're going to take a look, uh, I mentioned at the end of the last episode, uh, cool data records, CDR records. Um, and you had no idea what we were going to do last time, but then this seemed like a logical idea to do, so we decided <laughs> to do it. Um, so here we are, uh, cool data records. What do we need and what do they deliver us or provide us with? Um, this is a very, it's a topic which seems relatively easy. Mm -hmm. Many people don't need it. Okay, fair enough. Um, maybe, maybe not. And for some people it's the most important part of the world. Right. Why? Because they can write their bills with CDR records. So, yes, what is this? Um, it is a, a mechanism where you can store mm -hmm. um, the information about the call, so call detail records. Yeah. What is the information about the call you want to store? Um, who called, who was called, because a caller, callee, yeah. duration, um, the duration, account number maybe, something like this. Yeah. Okay. And um, it's relatively easy because per default you have a CSV file, mm -hmm. a comma separated value list. Yeah. Um, for each caller, um, mm -hmm. asterisk adds one line okay. at hang up time. Right. So that's it basically. Um, what's the default configuration? Why can it be very, very complicated? Mm -hmm. So for the normal use, it's not because you have all um, the lines in there. Yeah. And maybe you want to store this somewhere into a database or something mm -hmm. and you want to search why. Maybe you want to know um, how often did this and that guy call me. Yeah, historical dates uh, or yeah. whatever maybe. How yeah. long did I talk to this and that customer? Mm -hmm. So you can find out things like this Right. Um, for like a journal. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, for this it's very useful and it's relatively easy. Um, for billing it can be very, very difficult mm -hmm. because there is a difference between um, the call duration yep. and what you can bill. I make an example. Okay. Um, I do an outbound call. Normally, you pay for outbound calls yep. um, if you, um, yeah, if you make an outbound call. Um, then the call took, let's say, sixty seconds. Mm -hmm. But what I can bill is only 40 seconds because it took 20 seconds until you pick up the phone. Okay, so I can only actually bill for the speaking time, yes. not for the ringing time. Yes, okay. something like this. And then mm -hmm. it, it gets um, more complicated and more complex mm -hmm. if you want to know this information. So Asterisk stores this per default. Um, you have a duration of the call yeah. and you have a so-called billing time. Okay. Um, where the call was answered. All right. um, the other way around, if you are a call center, then you get paid for inbound calls. In most cases, if you have an inbound call center, then maybe, um, and I think this is the, the most common use case because in most scenarios, you get flat rates for outbound calls and you don't have to bill anybody and you get the invoice from your carrier. This is true, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Maybe this is not so interesting, but inbound calls, if you uh, get paid per minute mm -hmm. or per second, I don't know. Oh, per second, that could be um, profitable. <laughs> yes, then you need CDR records to um, yeah, um, create invoices yep. for your work. Mm -hmm. And then it's very, very complicated because maybe um, you get an inbound call, then your asterisk always answers hello, blah, 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 welcome to blah, blah, the next available agent, blah, blah, blah. And maybe you get only paid for uh, the time the agent really talks. Possibly, so yeah. you answer the channel. So the bill sex, mm -hmm. the seconds are um, from the answer of the channel. The connected time. Yes. Well, it's not connected. Connected is the wrong word because even once the... You are already connected. Once you have the IVR, they're connected. So, yeah. yeah, okay. So, it's so every time you time. start, is talk time. Every mm -hmm. time you answer the channel, um, it creates build, sec build seconds, okay. and maybe that's not true because a machine answered the channel yep. and not mm -hmm. the human. So it can get very, very complicated. And then think about transfers. 
you mm -hmm. ask your supervisor what to do, fork the CDR record then yeah. and so on and so forth. So it can be um, a very, very complicated topic if you like. And just to make it even more complicated, imagine if you're a call center that has many inbound uh, campaigns. Hmm? You're going to have possibly, because you get different values for different campaigns, you're going to have, oh, okay, it gets very difficult now. Yeah. Right, so. so this is <laughs> 60 seconds, now. fix it. <laughs> yes, like this. Um, so this is the reason why you will see uh, in a minute um, why it's relatively complex configuration. Mm -hmm. So there are many configuration files and many things you can do and you may wonder why on earth would you do that? Would you do that? And you do that because it can be a very complex and very important topic in a company. And um, in a certain, a certain use case scenario, it could be essential. Yeah, so essential for your business model. Yeah. Critical for your business model. <laughs> it could be very critical, yeah. so it's a good idea to learn yeah. about it. So th this, is, um, this is why it's so complex and why there are so many possibilities to configure CDRs. Okay. And maybe you wonder, this is just a journal, why can you configure yeah. this? much stuff and I don't know. We could go on for hours about this, but let's, yes. let's go into the technology side of it. How do we yes. actually configure it? <laughs> okay, that's easy. <laughs> <laughs> you just go to um, etc asterisk and there you find a lot of CDR related files. This is not true. Here you can see there are a lot of files. So you can start with the CDR conf. Um, this is the basic CDR configuration. And you can have something custom, a manager, you can have database connections, so you can write your CDR data to a database like uh, MySQL, ODBC, um, so any database which can talk ODBC, um, PGSQL, and so on and so forth, even syslog and so on. Mm -hmm. So there are many possibilities to configure and that's because maybe it's very important for your company as I mentioned. Start easy. CDR.conf. As usual you can see a lot of text and default values. More and more and more and more. And here you can see the configuration for the CSV file which is written. So you can uh, log date time in uh, general mean time and so on. So just a few switches and that's it. Okay. And what happens then is it writes it to a file which is called var log asterisk and then there is a directory cdr csv and then there is something called master csv. And you can see a lot of stuff in there. I will explain it later. And if I do a call now, you can see nothing happens. Why? Because it writes, I am not available. It writes the record at the end of the call. So this is important to yeah. know. Mm -hmm. And then you get a new record. You mentioned at the beginning uh, that the asterisk system adds the line after the hang up. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's true, okay. and that's important to understand. Mm -hmm. You can force that um, if you like to. Mm -hmm. So you can say, write the CDR record now. Okay. Maybe in your uh, scenario it's like this, that you um, did your job already, the uh, agent answered the call, mm -hmm. and then it transfers the call again to a, I don't know, are you happy system where you can press one for I'm very happy. Right, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know, something like this. So uh, a survey, something mm -hmm. like this. And maybe you can, you, you're not interested how long this takes. And then you can write your CDR record now. And this is what you can build. And then it creates a second C, uh, a CDR record or not, or okay. what you configure. Um, that's it basically about CDR records. And I think we make another tutorial where we see how we can tweak it a little bit, not okay. too much yeah. because uh, we cannot make a tutorial on how you can 
uh, create the billing engine, no. but um, <laughs> some tricks and tweaks what you yeah. can do easily. Okay, fair enough. Well, so that was it for uh, the brief introduction to CDR records. Um, Next time around on the TSS, we're going to go a little bit more advanced. Yes, um, no, I, no, I know. Yeah, now you know, you're well planned this time. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's it uh, for this episode. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, until next time, uh, goodbye. See you.